Welcome to the orientation video for the Alice Perry Engineering Building. The main student entrance is located on the southwest corner of the building as shown here. Please do not congregate at the door. Due to COVID-19 restrictions, access routes are set out by directional arrows on the floor. However, in the event of a fire, leave by the fastest route, so in this instance directional signs do not apply. Fire exits are located at each corner of the building. If on an upper floor, leave by the nearest stairwell and make your way straight out of the building from the stairwell. All staff will have to act as fire marshals to ensure full evacuation occurs. Students with mobility difficulties should consult their course director to develop a personalised evacuation plan. Make your way to the fire assembly point which is located away from the main front entrance. Do not congregate at the front door. You should familiarise yourself with the building. Think ahead and plan your escape route including alternative routes. Respond immediately to a fire alarm evacuation. Do not wait to be asked to leave. This ensures the safety of yourself and others. Once inside the building you will be in the atrium. The door at the riverside entrance is for staff entry only and for emergency exit. If you encounter someone in cardiac arrest, there is a defibrillator with a list of people trained to use the defibrillator on the wall next to the defibrillator. If you do encounter a serious medical emergency, call 112 or 999 and seek staff assistance. Following the directional arrows, on your left is the stairwell to the upper floors. On your right is one of two COVID isolation rooms. If you have any COVID-19 symptoms, you should not come to campus until you have consulted with your GP and are cleared of COVID-19 infection. Students should inform their course director on the outset of symptoms and self-isolate in accordance with HSE guidelines. If you develop symptoms of COVID-19 while on campus, you should leave the campus immediately. Return home and consult your GP. If you are unable to go home immediately, you should go to the closest isolation room, i.e. either ENG G013 or ENG 3018. A designated person will assist you with your return to home and your PI must be informed. Keep the isolation door shut. Cover your mouth and nose with tissue observing sneezing and coughing etiquette. Avoid touching people's surface and objects. Wear a mask. Make use of hand sanitizers, tissues, gloves, masks and waste bags provided. Infected material to be placed in waste bag and then double bagged. Dated, labelled and left for three days before being placed in general waste. If you need to go to the bathroom while waiting for medical or travel assistance, you should use a separate bathroom if available. This will need to be deep cleaned and disinfected afterwards. Do not take public transport. Self-isolate at home, according to HSE guidelines, and phone GP or HSE. HSE Live on 1850 24 1850 for further guidance. Provide contact details of close contacts for contact tracing to the relevant PI or COVID-19 nominee. COVID-19 control measures are in place along with existing safety control measures. The additional COVID-19 measures include compulsory wearing of face masks in shared spaces and common thoroughfares, hand sanitization stations and hand washing facilities are positioned throughout the building and are regularly monitored. COVID-19 signage is in place throughout the building. Directional markers are in place in the atrium and thoroughfares. The Design and Build Workshop facility allows students attain a hands-on experience in machining and fabrication. Safety is everybody's responsibility. All students are expected to adhere to NUI Galway's safety standards. This includes cooperating with supervisors, technical and other staff. If you notice or think something is not right or have a safety concern, report it to a staff member. Use equipment for its intended purpose and if you notice faulty equipment, please report it. Just like watching this briefing, it is important that you attend relevant training. The fundamental principle of safety is that you do not endanger yourself or others. Look after fellow students whether on or off campus. Contact the laboratory manager before accessing any laboratory and ensure that you are familiar with the specific laboratory protocols in place. If applicable, ensure that you adhere to any rotas in place. Cleaning wipes are available in each laboratory. Disinfect workspace and equipment before and after use. These should be used to disinfect door handles and other touch points.
The student exit stairwell from the upper floors is on your left hand side with the student exit from the building in front. Exit the building through the service yard. Do not stand around in the service yard. This is a no smoking area. Progressing through the building, the material lab is straight ahead, the testing lab on your left and the timber lab on your right. The emergency exit at the end of the corridor leads to the service yard. The Hydraulics and Aerodynamic Laboratory is an undergrad teaching and research lab. As with all labs, you will receive specific lab training. This is the staff exit, which also serves as an emergency exit. The main computer suite, G046, is straight in front, beside the staff entrance. Climbing to the first floor via the atrium stairway, you will pass by the Zinc Cafe. The entrance to Lecture Hall G018 and G017 are located along this corridor, with exit located on the ground floor atrium. Progressing down the west corridor, you will encounter a makerspace laboratory with 3D printing facilities. The exit from this floor is through the door at the rear and down the stairwell. Coming back up the corridor, climb the stairs to the second floor. There are small lecture rooms located on the west side of the corridor. Progressing along the back of the building, you will again see the student exit, more lecture rooms and the rear emergency exit. Along the staff corridor, there is two-way traffic as shown by the floor signs. Please observe directional floor arrows throughout the building. There are first aid medical kits located in each corridor for minor medical incidents, e.g. minor cuts. Always report any incidents or near misses to a member of staff. The second floor postgrad research room is located straight in front. The two other engineering computer suites are located on this corridor. Eng 2017 Computer Suite and Eng 2018 Computer Suite. Climbing the stairs to the third floor brings us to the Electronic Engineering Laboratories, where electronic design and prototyping occurs using a range of test equipment. At the end of the corridor, like floor two, there is a student exit through the stairwell, more lecture rooms and the rear emergency exit. Progressing along, we pass through the staff offices corridor. The third floor postgrad research room is located straight in front. The second isolation room is located here. And looking downward, you will get a sense of where we are. Thank you for taking the time to watch this orientation video.